you normally uh, have um, your listeners give a Pimp C story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a badass Pimp C story. Oh! Yeah. Story time! I got a story I like to share, man. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> okay, so you know when Pimp came to town and was on some, um, I went to Dallas and some bitches tried to test me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know when he said that? Yeah, I was, I was there. He got into it with my partner Ron. Ron Ross. I didn't. I, I was a fan of Pimp, but I didn't know. Uh, uh, I didn't know Pimp yeah. personally, but I knew Ron personally. Yeah. So Ron had that. He had that. He had that motherfucking SK finna come back up there and kill Pimp about mm-hmm. that shit. I know. So look. So fast forward to where. Okay, so Ron got into it with. Well, it's it's really not kind of a Pimp C story. It's more of a Ron story, really. But Ron, fast forward, he got into it with my pimp partner, Capo. I know. In the club. In uh, the fair. And Capo, yeah. And Capo pulled like one of the metal posts out the ground and beat the shit out of Ron. See, they didn't say that story. Oh, my God. You know the story everybody said? What? This is the story. I'm going to let you continue. They said that they got into it in the club over a chick. They skipped that point. No, 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 no. It wasn't over a chick. It was over a... Ron was a nigga that it was just a situation that Ron was a hothead, Capo was a hothead. Exactly. That wasn't finna end in just a fight. One of them was gonna die. It was whether it was. Well, how did they get the? How, why did they get they, into they, it? Well, well, you gotta keep in mind, man. Capo, he was just a gorilla nigga. Yes, so man. it, it could have been something as, as simple as a, or something yeah. as simple as a just they just had a misunderstanding. Yeah. It wasn't finna be settled. But I was in New York at the time, and I'd normally be out with Capo, and I knew Ron. I beat myself up today that if I was there that it night. It wouldn't have happened. Nah, bro, my bro, I yeah, could have yeah, mediated yeah. that. that I could have mediated, you know like, mediated it, too. I could have mediated it. I was like, God damn, that's two of my homeboys got to I came back from New York, and my chick at the time picked me up from the airport. And when, when I came up the walkway, she was looking at me and just crying like, mm. Capo, gone. You know what I'm saying? But so... They got into a scuffle, you know what I'm saying, fighting. Ron had some big old security, military-looking niggas with him. Yeah. So uh, I think v Dog and some other people was with uh, Capo. Capo. So they got into a scuffle, and uh, they was really getting the best of Capo near my hair. So he pulled out <coughs> He pulled out one of the metal posts and got to handling Ron. So Ron walked out the door to his car, get his pistol, walk back in that hole, and hit Capo. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. I so it killed him, all that. So fast forward, fast forward a little bit. Ron is uh going to he going to court for that. Mm-hmm. So the chick that was with Ron was going to testify in his behalf. No, he, okay. she was going to say that. Oh yeah, I heard about that. He tell tell gonna, that story. Tell that he story. He was going. She was going to say that Ron had did that. Ron went to I think it was the Crown Plaza. Oh, shot Burke. her. Tried to. He shot her. She didn't die. She paralyzed. She was paralyzed. I didn't even know he shot and her. And then it was a police standoff, and he shot himself. Yeah. And killed himself. Shot through the door. Shot a cop. Then killed the turn the gun on himself. Killed himself. Fast forward it. Ron's son went up to Oregon and tried to and robbed a grow house. Killed a dude, a chick, another dude. He spurred. He killed everybody, but I think the baby. Came back to Dallas. It was a manhunt. Oregon was down here. Wow. Everybody. So he was he, he was he was riding around in a U-Haul van. So a dude off of um 67 or 7 Eleven dude spotted him on a wanted poster when he came to 7 Eleven. Like yeah. that dude just left. High speed chasing the U-Haul van, the yeah, Soto yeah, yeah. laws behind him, mm. cornered him. He killed himself. Just like Ron. just like his motherfucking daddy. Mm. Mm. What year was that? This was, oh, nah, it wasn't, I, I, I don't even want to, I don't want, it was yeah. probably about 10, 11 years ago. But I really, it might be more than that. I don't really know the fact, but oh, yeah. just the fact that he met the same fate, fate. and went out yeah. just like that is. That is crazy. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.